Well, welcome back to part two of dredging the pond with compact tractors. Um, today we're going to hopefully drain the rest of the water out of the pond. You can see I've got the trench cut back down the water level. We went about three feet deeper than on the first video. Now we're going to back a backhoe in there and, and rip it out of there. It'd be unrealistically unrealistic to think that it's going to be totally dry. But I think there's about a foot and a half, maybe two feet maximum in the water. And I think we'll get all but a little puddle out today. So we're going to use this little 3038E John Deere tractor with that little backhoe on it. To finish cutting the trench, you can see the trench is already cut about halfway through the dam. Uh, we got to go on the other side and uh, continue that trench to where it'll drain. So we'll walk over or we'll drive over there, we'll get set up and we'll keep you posted. All right, we're about ready to start cutting a trench. You can tell from down below we're cut to there. And we're gonna leave a little gap in between there uh, to hold the water back, come through and knock that out last. But we're gonna start digging here and uh, we'll, you should be able to watch us knock the water out of here. Hopefully we get almost all of it. All right, we got the trench, uh, the two trenches cut back to back. Now we're going to knock it out and see how it drains. So here we go with that.
Okay. Standing on a pile of mud here, it's hard to... Okay, here's what it looks like from the lower side. We're a little better at it this time than the first go around, but we know what goes on after watching it the first time, so. Worked out pretty good. Not much left. Well, here we are. This is our third attempt at draining the pond. Uh, the second attempt, uh, we, we dug it down about three feet and then uh, cut the trench like we did the first time with a backhoe. But the problem was there was so much mud down toward the pond that we were only able to get about a foot, foot and a half out before the mud closed the trench off. So this time I went in with the bucket of the tractor uh, and cut a trench all the way just with the bucket. And so now at least we haven't got a deep gully running down through the center. So um, I think we'll get it down to about the last four or five inches this way. And then I can let it dry up and then I can just simply come back in with the tractor and clean it up. Um, but pretty happy. It's been two, a two week project getting to this point, but we're cleaning out around the dam or around the pond, uh, taking down a bunch of trees and stuff. I started scraping a little bit on that end. I don't think I'm going to have a problem removing the mud. Um, and pick down a bunch more trees on the back side of the dam. And I'll probably pile the mud back there because no sense piling it out in front of the dam or it'll end up back in the, the pond. Um, so this is the end of draining it. Uh, I know I'll get it now. Um, I may just have to play a little bit with that last six inches. Um, and then I'm going to shoot a video while we start doing the majority of the scraping of the mud. We'll do a big time lapse and it'll be kind of fun to see how it comes out of there with a couple small tractors. So this is it for part part two or three or whatever it is. Um, and we'll be back uh, in a few days. It's already dry enough to start working with the edges. So we'll be back in a few days with the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, we're ready for the next phase of this project. Um, you can you can see that the uh, pond is is out of water. Uh, I finally got the rest of it drained out this morning, the last six inches. Um, and I've started to scrape a little bit on the far end here, um, and, and it's going okay. There's a few soft spots in there. And, and the mud tends to push out in front of the bucket, but I'm able to move around. Uh, I'm using the 3039R today. Uh, it's got the R4 tires on it, and they're a lot wider than the uh, uh, 3038E. Um, so I think they float better on top of the clay. Uh, but we'll set up, we'll do a time lapse here, and you can watch as I start pulling the muck out of here, I'll probably start or finish over on the other side and then eventually work over to this side. So here we go.
Okay, here we are. Hopefully this is our last day of pulling mud out of here. Uh, we've been at it about five days. Um, we had rain last week and that shut us down for three or four days. It was too slippery to get in there and then we had to figure out how to get the water back out of here. But we got a nice day coming up today. Hope to get the rest of it out of there. Um, looks like we're going to be able to accomplish it. Uh, it's been a fun project, but I'm, I'm a little tired of sitting on the seat of the tractor, but I think we're going to get her done. We'll uh, get the mud out today, probably spend the day or tomorrow reshaping things and getting everything all smoothed out, and then the next day start putting the dam back together. Uh, and then we got plenty of time to work with edges and whatever. There's supposed to be rain coming this weekend, so maybe it'll start filling up a little bit. But realistically, it'll be next year sometime before the pond is full again. Um, so we'll we'll let you watch what we're doing today, and uh, then we'll probably close with uh, uh, a video here or a clip at the end. One thing I haven't mentioned here is my partner on this project. That would be my father. And he's 89 years old. And he's been down here four days now, just nonstop pulling buckets of muck out of here. So how about that? Pretty impressive, huh? Well, here we are about three weeks after we first took the water out of the pond. Um, thanks for joining us again here. Uh, we have finally got all the muck out of here. Um, somewhere around 1,000 to 1,500 buckets, maybe more. Uh, we really didn't count it. We had two tractors going for three, four days. Um, but we hauled all the mud up and over the dam, so it was, you know, a lot of seat time. You almost felt like a rock truck driver on Gold Rush. Um, one thing to keep in mind, I, I was thinking when we started this project that anybody with a small tractor could probably pull this off uh, if they took their time and they were patient. Um, but as I mentioned on my previous video, my 89-year-old father was my cohort, and two days ago he tipped his tractor over with a bucket full of mud. So having said that, if I look back on it, this isn't for everybody. Um, you know, here we are with roll bars folded down because it won't fit in one of our buildings and that's the building we keep our fuel in. Uh, in hindsight, we should have had the roll bars up. He should have been seat belted in. He's okay. Uh, he got to spend a night in the hospital and we got, uh, um, you know, he's pretty bruised up, but he'll, he'll be fine. It was a good learning experience, although I don't know how much learning you need to do at 89 years old. Um, but here's where we're at. We got her done. Uh, as you can tell by looking at the dam, uh, the hole in the dam is about half full. We're expecting rain tonight, so feel pretty good about that. Uh, this was a big project. Um, and and would I do it again? Yeah, I would. Um, but that's me. I've had a lot of a lot of bucket time, and I really enjoy sitting on the seat of my tractor, and uh, and I'm pretty good with it. So I know what to expect and what you know what I can't get away with. Um, but thousands of buckets of mud coming out of here, and one mishap, and that one mishap could have been bad. But. Uh, pretty happy with everything else and even talking to dad he's happy about he had the time of his life there's n nothing he'd rather be doing than sitting on the seat of the tractor so at 89 years old um we're all good there um so uh, having said that uh th this is a wrap on it i'll put the dam back together and i'll try to come back in a year or so and show you what this thing turns into so I really uh, enjoyed doing it and I uh, appreciate any likes or comments. And, you know, if you got any safety concerns, keep them to yourself because <laughs> I'm going to do what I'm going to do. Um, and, and fortunately, that tractor just laid on its side. But at 89 years old, uh, you bruise easily and he landed on his shoulder and his hip. So uh, it's all good. Thanks for watching. And... Uh, 
look for a, a video next year when it's all finished and hopefully full of water. Have a good day.